Howdy y'all, it's Scott, and I want to take a few minutes just to talk about a new AI tool that I've been using for the last few months. Um, got a really bad rap right out of the gate. I'm talking about uh, Google's Gemini. Uh, y'all remember all the articles about how horrible it was? Well, uh, it's not perfect and no AI tool is, but um, it does some pretty cool stuff and I want to highlight a couple of things that I really find useful. The first one is Gemini Gems uh, and the other one is kind of a built-in uh, imaging processor. Uh, it's not as good as Midjourney, um, but it's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say great, but it's pretty good. Uh, and so let me go over a couple of the uh, things here. Okay, so let's get into Gemini. Uh, typical, you know, AI interface. It, it has some of your recent prompts over here. The two things I wanted to focus in on today is uh, Gem Manager. So Gem Manager allows you to do um, complex and or repetitive uh, prompts. So that, for instance, uh, let me just show you in here. Uh, it gives you some examples up here at the top. I've got uh, three that I've, I've built myself. Let's let's go into the web marketing assist, uh, assessment gem. So gems allow you to do uh, fairly complex, multi-step prompts and save them as a button. And basically that allows you to just plug in some information and it just spits it right out. So for instance, this one in particular does a web assessment based on a URL. And one of the advantages Gemini has as being a Google product is that it has access to very recent uh, web information. So uh, I've got a multi-step uh, prompt that I have in here. It's made so that as, as it reaches each step, you type in continue and it takes you to the next step until all the prompts have finished. So let's do uh, an example of this. Uh, it then gets into the executive summary. Uh, I can then go into a little more detail. Anyway, as, as we step through this, um, I, can also, I can also prompt it with specific questions. Um, but you see, it just, it just builds all this stuff out. Um, which is really cool, uh, you know, and, and I used to do uh, I used to do research like this all the time and something like this would take, let's say it's about eight to ten hours of research to pull all this together. Well, Gemini does it in just a few minutes and actually the longest thing that it uh, that it takes me to do is uh, to uh, come up with a, an assessment. So uh, this is something that I do for clients, um, basically taking the information and then making some making some tweaks to it. Obviously, uh, some things that I, I observed that maybe the maybe that Google didn't. And that's it's very important uh, to be able to uh, look into what the, the AI is providing and make corrections or, uh, you know, add add to the assessment as well. So it's a great tool. It uh, allows you to do in just a few minutes what used to take 10 to 12 hours. Um, and uh, gosh, it's 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 been it really has been a game changer. Uh, and I tell you what, if you've listened this long into the video and you're interested in getting my uh, web assessment uh, prompt for uh, Gemini Gems, uh, then just please leave me a message in, in the, uh, you know, in the in the in the comments below and I will shoot that over to you. Okay, so the next thing we take a look at is Imagine 3 on Gemini, and that's the uh, image tool that, that's built in with Gemini. All right, so I wanna show you just real quick uh, how Gemini image processor, which is called Imagine 3, uh, works. Uh, it, not as good as, as some of the tools out there, um, but I'd say overall, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna just prompt it real quick with, make me a pumpkin cat. So we'll start with something that's maybe a little silly. Um, perhaps it's something you could use for, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, for something. Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, for, for 
relatively little prompting. Uh, that's not too shabby. Um, so if I wanted to keep that, um, what I can do is I can click on this download full size button and that will download it into my uh, into my downloads. And then I can pull it into Adobe Illustrator uh, or Adobe Photoshop and make some edits to it, maybe put a nice caption on it. Uh, captioning on Imagine 3 is not too great. So let's let's try uh, something else. Um, Okay, so I asked it to make me a an oil pump uh, with a bright, starry sky. Maybe like you'd see out in West Texas. Oh, there we go. Hey, that's not bad at all. That really is not too bad. Uh, and again, if I wanted to download that, beautiful shot. Um, very cool. I like that a lot. Um, but let's say that we change our mind and we wanted this during daytime. So let's change the sky to a bright, to a blue cloudless day. Okay, and let's see how it does with a bright blue sky for our oil rig. Again, it takes just a few seconds for it to come up with. Again, not a bad shot. Um, let's make this sundown with orange and let's just see how it does for We'll do it all all three phases. Let's see how it does. So it's creating. There we go. All right. Um, I don't love this as much because it looks kind of flat. Maybe if it was um, if it had some angle to it, that would be a little more interesting. But you get the idea. You can you can ask it for stuff, and it'll give it to you. Um, you can tell it it's a good response. You can also just have it regenerate. So I'm going to have it regenerate and just see what it comes up with without me actually adding to the prompt. Um, should be about in the same range, uh, but it'll do it slightly different. Um, that one's a little brighter. Um, again, I wish the, the oil pump was, was at a diagonal or more powerful but we, maybe we could ask it to do that but anyway that gives you an idea of what what's possible yeah. well that ought to do it for uh a review of gemini gems uh and the image uh, imagine three uh processor uh, for making images on uh on ai um not perfect but if you have photoshop and, and a little bit of skills you can take a somewhat crappy image and actually use it i do it all the time uh, so I guess that'll wrap it up until next time. This is Scott saying so long.